So, what happened is that um, I did some changes to AOC on the channel, my previous live stream where I was engaged in setting up the um, visual and performance aspect of this PC for a set of course uh, competition eh? right, so I did that um, there was some, also some other issues with audio and so on so um, I've adjusted everything that I needed to do from the visual aspect some little minor tweaks here and there still but for now it performed well today test sessions I did before I uh, was only limited to uh, yeah, 10 cars so I found the setting to change that Installed. So, um, what I found out from another channel, Pagino, he um, woke up and just went into YouTube and saw his video, which I think he uploaded or launched about two months ago. And he was pointing out, first of all, um, all the NVIDIA cards you can upgrade to the latest software. And, um, well, I already have that because this is a, like, what, five months old, four months old, five, six, let's say six. So, um, I already have the latest software on it, and um, following his um, his recommendation, I um, enabled the 3D feature that's in the image scaling. So, NVIDIA image scaling. Um, I also enabled the overlay, but I haven't seen it appear on screen, so... But even though it hasn't appeared, like he suggested, um, the effects certainly improved. So, it's not like the improvement is there, because you can easily compare the last video with this video. The last um, live stream, not video, but the last live stream with this um, with this replay. Okay. 
if I deem it necessary, I just need to fix some or make some tweaks to the shadows. You see shadows flickering. It's supposed to um, render smoothly and not flicker. I forget what I mean. It's the only issue is just the shadows aspect of it. I think I have the shadows maybe set to low. So but that's not really um, much of an issue unless you're driving at night and you lose your lights and so on. And then there was another issue with I think I know what caused it. Let's look at the last live stream, there was a very annoying static quality to the audio so I think I know what caused it and that's because I'm running a sort of high intensity fan that I use to cool the wheel base so one of the problems with Logitech means is that um, motors overheat and knock you out like literally and I've been struggling a bit to fine tune the force feedback settings. Still a bit knocky, but that that is um I think I know how to deal with that. I've done all that I can to reduce that knocky sound on the inside, but I think I know what I need to do because I've had the detectives for from since the wingman days come all the way up through driving force GT G27 G29 and now this is the 93 so the G29 is one of those motors that count out last year I think it was last year. It forced me to go get a um, G93. Yeah, it was last year, I believe. Yeah. And um, I think I did a review on stream, but just to mention in case anyone wants to. You probably can't like me, can't. But I can't access the Fanatec wheels because I'm located, as you can tell from my accent, I'm located in West Indies, Trinidad and Tobago to be precise. Um, the closest Fanatec distributor is in the United States and then stocks are like forever out best option to get a wheel is um, over in the UK however um, that comes of course with 
like close and nobody price. But Fanatec is the, is the next step forward and Fanatec DD. I wouldn't bother with the, the um, 8 Newton meters, maybe, maybe. So it's always better to have more, but generally these low end wheels um, function anywhere between 3 Newton meters and 5 Newton meters. So 5 is not as bad as it did um, it may sound of course more is always better but then if you play other sims like i do like do the rally and so on you may not want too much stress on your hands so driving on a circuit is far different from driving on a gravel or, or snow line the rally stage for 12 to 16 kilometers and while it is I must admit I I only play dirt on a console but even on PC I haven't driven any rally game or any rally title on PC as yet. But I safely tell you that um, despite what you will hear from a lot of streamers, um, sims are not quite close to real life. And you actually know the real life drivers saying that it's um it's good. I'm not sure what the interpretation of good is, but I can safely tell you because I've raced in real life. Um, I've finished up as uh, well, not finished because I'm 47, but I'm not finished. Um, had a rallying accident, so that more or less shut the doors a bit on me, but. Um, I'm not finished in any way. I did start with cotton and did circuit, did drugs, and mostly built my own cars. Purchased a couple, but mostly built my own cars. So I can safely tell you that um, the sims are not close. Not close. Alright, and it doesn't matter what expensive equipment you buy, they are not close. The physics in terms of the grip or traction is different. In real life you have more, therefore you feel more as a, as a direct correlation. time that I did um because as I said I came from Carton and you know generally track circuit type recent experiences and first time I did a rally I was very surprised because you know it's gravel is loose surface and I was very surprised at the quality of grip the gravel tires offered so usually if you're looking at videos such as too fast to race and you see facts and figures that indicate the speed at which these cars can accelerate on gravel in comparison to formula one cars and other high-end um, was built recent machines here yeah. 
left with some question marks is, uh, is it possible, is it real, yes it is, you have a spectators, even minus all of the downforce extras that you would have on the purpose build race cars, um, give you significant grip. Significant grip. And even though they have like hard, medium, and soft compounds, even the hard compound is soft in comparison to other recent generals. They have well, basically one compound. Because even the hard tires, um, you would see rally drivers telling you that the um, degradation of the tires is like high. Of course, it depends on how you manage them because that is required. Up to this point, and now that I'm at this point, well, I can now start focusing a bit more on is, um, my driving and getting up to speed. Yeah, graphic card at least this one that I'm using I haven't any experience with any of the others but I have seen um, gameplay and reviews I've seen videos on how to um, improve the frames and um, quality of other low spec Nvidia cards um, I can't say that um, this is which is more or less I think there may be others because as I said this is like what five six months old but um, first purchase in like November December November so and we are now in April so um, it's great so far I've tested it in other games before um, I've only fairly recently installed ACC so I'm now adjusting things here um, I've used the graphics card um, in race room I have the startup pack I've used it in um, other recent games as well 
so it's very good I find um, the coloration is deep um, you could of course adjust and reduce that um, but this is good enough for me I could reduce it somewhat but this is good enough for me pretty deep and, and immersive so yeah satisfied customer um, as time go by and I got more experience in terms of tweaking and setting up and so on um, I try to probably work along with Pagino a bit because I've have gone to other persons even you know well persons associated with with nvidia and um pagino who did um that recent video is the one that was able to enable me make the difference so that at least i'm able to see the shadows you know rendering somewhat better now you can see there um, there's still some flickering but that's negligible I don't need to really focus on that because I've got um, the worst parts um, worked out I can sit here relaxing and looking at these trees shimmering or waving around as in real life you know before and there's still some quality that i notice while driving and in the replay here you saw that where you have the you were able to see the 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 um base feature that they use to build up these images it's almost like a net so you'll see that from time to time but that's as i said i'm not driving any trees so